guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make a cute little Christmas sign for a decoration. First we're going to go to Home Depot and get a few things. First I'm going to get these screws. Um, they're not too big. They are going to probably fit perfectly for the sign. It's only about two feet tall with pretty thin pieces of wood. And then I'm going to get two pieces of this 2 by 4 by 6 foot um, pressure washed pine. Pressure wash because it will last forever. And then just one piece of this 8 foot pressure wash weather shield. This is going to act as the post, which will also last forever since it is pressure washed. Now we're going to be using a circular saw and you're basically just going to take the pressure washed pine and cut that in half. After that you're going to be cutting each end into a V shape which is going to act as the pointy end of the arrow. And then the other side you can leave just straight or you can cut a M shape into it to make it the other side of the arrow. And you're going to want to make four of these and another little couple inch square wood piece for the top of the post. Now I'm going to be drilling the arrows onto the post. I cut the post to be about two feet tall and then at the bottom I also sawed it at kind of a diagonal angle so that when you put it into the ground it's easier than it having a flat bottom. And then after that, you're ready to start painting. I basically just got all of my outdoor paint from Michaels. You could probably definitely get some from Home Depot or something like that, but I just get everything from Michaels. Now I am just starting to write on my sign. You can basically write whatever you want. I kind of get most of my inspiration and ideas from Pinterest. I kind of write different things on each sign just so they're not all the same. But you can write anything like Merry Christmas. Um, you can write your name, your family's name, if it's going to be in front of your house. Anything like that. I kind of just went basic and put Happy Holidays. And um, yeah, I'm just going to speed that up because it's going to take me a while. Taking this E6000 glue, I also got this from Michaels. Um, it's used for crafting and it definitely is waterproof. I made a sign before and used this glue to stick everything on and it stayed through the storm. So I definitely recommend this glue. It's not super expensive either, it just is super messy. But I used this to add on the snow and then after that I also am going to make a little Santa belt in the middle of that O in holidays and then I'm just gonna add some snowflakes to my ski lodge sign. So 
know, now I'm just going to take some Christmas ribbon and make that into a bow. I'm going to use the E6000 glue to kind of glue it together and put some pressure on it while it dries so that it molds in the right uh, shape that I want. And then while that dries, I'm going to finish the belt and then I'm going to get some gold shiny ribbon and put that in on the bow and then glue it to the top. I also just decided to add a little bell to the bottom of that exclamation point. You definitely don't have to do this, but I thought it was a cute little touch. Now I'm just taking some more ribbon in a different color. I was trying to decide if I wanted gold or green, and I decided with green. And I'm just going to wrap that around the post and also adhere that again with the E6000 glue. Now I'm just using an Ultra Cover Finishing Spray. It kind of just seals everything and it makes it foolproof. I really like it. So yeah, that's the finished sign. I hope you guys like it. I had so much fun making them and I think they're perfect for your house or even as a gift. They're my favorite. And yeah, if you guys like this video or if you want to see anything more from me, definitely like this and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!